Welcome to South Bay TV. We are excited that you have joined us today. We are here located at the Manhattan Beach Chamber offices and we are going to be speaking to the brand new president and CEO of the Manhattan Beach Chamber of Commerce, David Archer. So David, welcome. Thank you so much. It's been a whirlwind. I, I bet it has. It was a quick turnaround, and um, but we're super yeah. excited to have you in the city and president of the chamber and to learn a little bit more about you okay. and plans for the chamber. Great. So why don't you tell us a little bit about you, where you've come from, and okay. um, stepping into this role? Well, that's a great question. I have a kind of a storied history or career, I guess would be the right word. Um, I grew up in Colorado outside of Denver and Evergreen. Mm -hmm. And I went to high school, finished high school up in Vail. And then I matriculated to California to go to college in Costa Mesa. And I've stayed out here ever since. Um, I worked in corporate America. I worked for Northrop Corporation, Bank of America. Started an office with Edward Jones Investments, which is where I fell in love with the chamber. Yeah. Yes. Um, that was out in La Quinta. And I was on the chamber board. We had some turnover at the CEO level and they asked me to step in and manage the team so we could hire a CEO. And they asked me to throw my hat in the ring and I ended up getting the position. So that was my first yeah. chamber job, about eight years there. And then I moved up to Sausalito. And then my latest chamber gig prior to coming here was Pismo Beach. Okay. So Great here I am. Right on the, you just came right just on down the going, coast. Going right? down the coast. Going down the coast. That works. <laughs> Another beautiful city. It so. is. Well, when people ask me, I mean, what, I, what am I going to miss about San Luis Obispo? And normally I would say the beach and access to the beach. Mm -hmm. But hey, we got one of the best beaches here. You do. And you're all so, about three blocks from it here at the Chamber correct. Office. That's correct. Yeah, yep. super close. All yeah. right. Well, you've literally just kind of stepped in <clears throat> in the last two weeks, I think. So yep. it's been a... A quick turnaround from the Best of Manhattan Beach Awards. Yes. This is my third week on the job. Third week. All right. My We're third Monday. <laughs> it's a good one. Well, let's talk a little bit about what your vision is for the, the chamber. Well, this is a, a fairly strong chamber. Um, Indeed. They have a, a really solid board, a good community. And so I don't know if I have so much of a vision to change anything, but to rather keep it going. Mm -hmm. um, all the positive momentum that, that the chamber has made over the past few years. And so I, I'm just looking to get in and learn from everybody, mm -hmm. get a feel for the community and how, how everybody interacts with each other and try to keep the, the good energy going and the, the inertia. We got a great team member, Carolina is on staff. She's yeah, been invaluable. Staff. So just, uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep everything normal, <laughs> whatever that means now. Right, right, okay. So. And do you see any, I mean, I guess, when anybody comes into a new role, like making a whole bunch of changes is not necessarily the greatest strategy, right? right. So keeping things normal, keeping things moving, I love yep. it. In some of the other chambers that you've uh, you know, worked for, have there been other ideas that you may be able to bring to the table here to Manhattan Beach? Uh, I believe there is. There's some good things that we can take from the other chambers that I've participated in, with. Um, I don't have anything specific at this moment, but I got a lot of wheels turning in my head. I'm just trying to get to know the board members, the city staff, other constituents, members, I'm meeting with members as well, city council. And so trying to get a lay of the land, so to speak, and then we'll see if we can we can uh, make some headway with other programs that we might be able to offer for the members. Right, love that. So yeah. for somebody who maybe isn't familiar with what a Chamber of Commerce does, or why you would join a Chamber of Commerce, right? <laughs> and, and this is a very strong Chamber of Commerce. Manhattan yes. Beach Chamber of Commerce is very involved, very active. Um, I've been a member. It's, um, yeah, got a lot yeah. of great things going for it. Why would somebody join a Chamber of Commerce? Well, probably the, what Chambers are known for the most is advocacy. And so we're the business advocate with the city, with local governments, with regional governments, with sometimes national government. And so that's really probably the, the strength of the chamber is the advocacy. And so I'm at the city council meetings when they're not remote. Um, I was on last Tuesday's city council meeting, you know, listening. And so it's having the pulse of the business community represented with city, with the city and with mm -hmm. the government. So that's probably the strongest thing. And if you talk to any chamber president, advocacy sees one of the, the things that people look for in their chamber. Mm -hmm. okay. So WACE, the Western Association of Chamber Executives, they do surveys and, and what people value most about the chamber. And that's in the top two almost all the time. 
So okay. advocacy for businesses. Right. And would you say that it's mostly businesses that are, you know, brick and mortar within the city or is it, you know, those that are working from home who might have a small business or don't necessarily have a brick and mortar space yeah, in it, the it, city? Yep. It, we would we would be able to both of those. Mm -hmm. So brick and mortar, obviously, you can walk in and see the building and touch it and all that sort of stuff. But remote working and um, a lot of folks have the, their office in their home now. Mm -hmm. And so we, we could still benefit from the Chamber of Commerce in those areas as well. Right, absolutely. I'm, I'm a solopreneur, and so, but I have always found that even um, with the chambers, the networking that's provided, yeah. right? And being yep. able to meet other chamber members and then getting involved. I don't know about you, and you can give me your experience, but you know, whenever you're in a new town or new starting something new, from my experience, it's always been you gotta jump in. It's not about just joining. Right. It's about getting involved. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on that? <clears throat> well, that's a great point. So the chamber, just doesn't magically help people, right? You don't <laughs> right, join the yes. chamber and then all of a sudden people start walking into your door. Yeah, You're absolutely right. You need to get involved, join a committee, help plan an event. Um, we're strategizing on, on our ambassador crew to see how we can bring that back in as events start going live again. I mean, mm -hmm. so far we've done mostly remote. Um, so getting back in touch with the people, I think that's important. But yeah. You do have to uh, make an effort with the chamber to make it work for you, for the yeah. business. Yeah. So, yeah, there's no magic pixie dust where you join the chamber and all of a sudden you get a, a million, yeah, yeah. million people walking through your door. Right, so. right. I think it's really about becoming part of the community. I mean, yeah. part of the community of the chamber. I attended the Best of Manhattan Beach Awards that mm -hmm. were recently held here in the city of Manhattan Beach, right. which was, I think it had been paused last year. So it's back in person, which yep. was a phenomenal event. Yeah. Really exciting. The energy was great. Oh my gosh, it was phenomenal. Yeah. So what other events do you see coming back? in the near term here well we have we just spoke today about our unity in the community event so we're going to do that again and be at the beginning of february i think we landed on february 4th can you tell me what that is unity in the community mm -hmm. well it's a it was born out of the george floyd situation i don't know right. what the right okay. words yeah, are that's it and uh it's just a, a active way to eliminate hate be more inclusive um and bring the community together in a positive way. Awesome. And so they had a forum, and I'm still learning all the ins and outs of it, but they had a, a four person, um, I guess, panel interview mm -hmm. last year, which was very successful. And so we anticipate keeping the format about the same this okay. year. And we're, we're, we've identified some folks, I can't remember their names, I have them written on my, on my notes. <laughs> Um, it's only your third week. It's only Start my third week. Your third week. I'm good with so, it. So, <laughs> no, we're really excited about that event. Yeah. So fantastic. And what about live networking events? Have you started bringing back any of the chamber lunches or breakfasts or any of that kind of thing? Yet? We have not yet, but okay. we do have our holiday mixer oh. coming up on. I think it's December eighth. Okay. December eighth. Fabulous. And it's over at Manhattan Village Shopping Center. Oh, so, I saw that in the chamber. You so, know, even if you're not a chamber member, to know what's going on, you've yep. got to subscribe to that email newsletter. Yep, you've got to subscribe to that. So yeah. that's the other thing we do a good job of at the chamber is networking people. We're a good resource if you have questions. And if we don't know the answer, we can, we can find someone who does. Fabulous. Perfect. So I know you're new to the city. I know yep. you just like, I don't know, had a few nights sleep in the city, but what do you think about, you know, the status of, or in general, the, um, the economy, the status of the economy here in Manhattan beach, and then maybe <coughs> even in the South Bay, although that may be a little too broad a question at the yeah. moment. Uh, you know, I'm just getting my feet wet, obviously, but the economy here seems to be fairly solid. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's a, a, a wonderful community. They got good support with the city and the city services and the police. Um, so I, I think, you know, on my, you know, two weeks, three weeks on the job, <laughs> it seems like a fairly solid economy right now mm -hmm. um, for Manhattan Beach. So mm -hmm. South Bay, I, I was on one of the um, where there's an, a, a group, uh, the South Bay Association of Chambers of Commerce. So I, I get to be a part of that. And that's a, a, like 16 local chambers. Mm -hmm. So they take on broader issues. Um, 
so that's that's an interesting organization so i i can't i guess my point is i can't really weigh in on that yet right because <laughs> it's kind of new to me right so the other places i've been they've been more small smaller tourist type towns um and this so this has a nice um mix of businesses large businesses and uh, small businesses mm -hmm. corporations and entrepreneurs so it, it's right. it's been a lot of fun so far right right okay and then we've got the um the downtown area here the direct mm -hmm. down downtown area and the you know all the restaurants that are coming back the ho especially with the holidays coming upon yep. us right um you know are do you know <clears throat> and maybe you don't know I, i'm not sure you know i think most of the restaurants are reopened there's still outdoor dining people can mm -hmm. come into the city and and um enjoy an evening out all those things you say are true. Okay. Okay. All right. This is good. <laughs> they, they're there. Uh, I think the council's going to look at maybe not having the outside dining. I think the early January they're going to make a decision on that. Any, any final thoughts you have that you want, you know, <clears throat> residents of Manhattan Beach or the uh, business owners of the South Bay in general to know about the Manhattan Beach Chamber? You know, we're here to support the community, the businesses, the residents, and any way that we can. And so I'm excited to get out and meet folks and learn about them and listen. I'm trying to do more listening and less talking, mm -hmm. which that wouldn't work well for this interview. But um, just meeting the community members and mm -hmm. getting to know who's who. Right. So a lot of exciting things and it's a good time to be here for the holidays with great now, if somebody wanted to find more about the chamber what is the website they would go to it's uh manhattanbeachchamber.com okay just wanted to make sure <laughs> it's on the logo somewhere <laughs> yes yes manhattanbeachchamber.com and there I think you can subscribe for the newsletter that comes out at least yep. weekly which gives you all kinds of updates about the city and yep. the restaurants um the chamber happenings that are going on some of the ribbon cutting ceremonies yep. i am on that list um it really keeps you in the know yeah. and um, I think you can subscribe right from the from the website so I would definitely get on that list if you're a business owner in Manhattan Beach you need to get down here and meet David um, come in and meet Carolina who's in the office as well yep. and um, and get involved really step into your community because the more you're involved in your community with other business owners, with other people, the more you're going to see that payback in That's your business. That's true. That's yeah. true. That's the winning formula right there. It is. It is. Get involved with your community. Get involved with the businesses. Support the local businesses. Shop local as best you can. Eat out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that one down. <laughs> yeah. I'm not hurting on that either. <laughs> well, David, it's been a pleasure interviewing Thank you. So you. Much. Thank you so much for spending some time with us today. And we look forward to a much of success uh, with the Manhattan Beach Chamber and you at the helm. Thank you so much for your time coming out today. Absolutely. All right. Until next time, be sure you also subscribe to South Bay TV. Just go to SouthBayTV.com. You can subscribe to get all of our emails when we get live and have new shows for you to watch. Until next time, we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.